Crystal, tonight a Northside Church's future is in doubt after the roof collapsed during those storms we had yesterday. Atlas Rankin says the downpours caused the roof to cave in and he believes it could have been prevented. Yeah, Rankin is the pastor of the church and on your side is Troy Kless. He joins us live now from the church tonight. So, Troy, why does he think that this could have been prevented? Well, that's because before his church bought the building a few years ago, it was over seven years ago, they were told that the roof was repaired after a tree fell on it. Now you see that the roof is caved in where that rain cascaded into the roof yesterday. Now he was planning on doing some renovations to the building, but they ran into a lot of red tape. Now they're not sure if any work will be done at all. I'm crushed. Pastor Atlas Rankin saying he's not sure what's next for this north side church. He got a call about the roof collapse after Tuesday's storms. I was like, what do you mean? He was like, man, you should have seen it. Uh, the, the winds was uh, going hard and, and next thing you know, the roof lifted up and then went collapsed right down into the into the sanctuary. The building was unoccupied and undergoing renovations. We were in the process of trying to get the building back up and running so we can uh, start using it as a, a family life center. And as we were trying to get the money raised for that, we um, just ran into some some issues. The red tape tripping up their rebuild. The storm damage is another setback. We definitely don't have the funds to uh, redo the roof. We definitely don't have the funds to to get it back up right now. The roof, which already was weakened after a tree fell through it. Rankin says the tree was removed and the roof fixed before they bought the building. Rankin's hope is to remind people to check if buildings are structurally sound. Consult professionals uh, when, when you're rehabbing, renovating or whatever it is, because there's a lot of information that we as small business owners or pastors or whatever the company is or organization is that we are just unaware of. Now Rankin says the church may be even forced to sell the building and he does not yet have an estimate on exactly how much the repairs could cost. Live on the north side, Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side. Troy.